Reporter Tom Wade is here with the latest. Tom? Hi there, Pat and Juan. Well, we heard more very emotional testimony, as you said, from witnesses today who are clearly still struggling to cope with what they saw that day, the day that George Floyd was killed. And tonight, never before seen police body cam video giving us a closer look into what happened. Officer body cam video shown for the first time in court the chilling moments leading up to George Floyd's death as officers first tried to get Floyd inside their cruiser. Not long after, we see the footage of Floyd on the ground with his neck pinned under former Minneapolis officer Derek Chauvin's knee. Floyd calling out for help that he cannot breathe. Thank you. As the jury saw the video of Floyd taking his last breaths, they also heard powerful testimony from witness Charles McMillan, who said he tried to de-escalate the situation. At the time I was engaged with Mr. Floyd, that the officer was, you know, trying to get him in the car and everything, talking to him, and I was telling Mr. Floyd, Mr. Floyd, just apply with him, get on in the car because you can't win. The 61-year-old broke down as he relived the horrific scene. What you're feeling in this moment? I can I feel helpless. After Floyd was taken from the scene by ambulance, McMillan can be heard on then officer Chauvin's body cam confronting him about the arrest. Chauvin can be heard on camera trying to justify his actions. I control this guy because he's a sizable guy. Yeah, and I thought I thought he like, didn't get in the car. It looks like he's probably on something. Why did you feel the need to talk to Mr. Chauvin? Because what I watched was wrong. Also played in court, new video of George Floyd inside the Cup Foods grocery store before his encounter with officers. The clerk testified Floyd appeared intoxicated and believed he paid for cigarettes with what appeared to be a counterfeit $20 bill. You made the decision after Mr. Floyd handed you this counterfeit $20 bill um, that you weren't going to call him out on it like you did with the earlier bill. Correct. And um, was that in part because you felt maybe he's under the influence? Partially. Partially. Um, the other person that had come in, it kind of seemed like he was trying to scheme, like he knew it was a fake bill. It was the prosecution who initially asked Martin whether Floyd appeared on drugs. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman says it's a smart strategy. The prosecution is always better off with bringing up bad evidence ahead of the defense if they know the defense is going to bring it up because then the prosecution becomes the giver of truth. It's not trying to hide anything. Clerk Christopher Martin and other store workers can be seen going out to Floyd's SUV after determining the bill was a fake and tried to convince Floyd to speak with their manager. Floyd would not comply and that's when police were called. Take a seat. Floyd is initially taken out in handcuffs before the deadly sequence unfolds. Martin can be seen on security video looking visibly shaken as he watches the arrest. We saw you standing there with your hands on your head for a while, correct? Correct. What was going through your mind during that time period? Uh, uh, disbelief. Thank you. The trial was briefly halted today when one of the jurors flagged the judge saying she felt sick. After a 20 minute break, she took the stand to say she had a stress related reaction in the coming days. We are expecting to hear from the Minneapolis police chief and law enforcement experts. Pat, back to you. All right. Thanks for that, Tom. Well, it has been a pipe dream for more than one.